The Ada Mini, the Ada Mini Pro, the Ada Mini Extreme are one of Blackmagic Design's most amazing pieces of gear because it packs a lot of other of their devices into one small device, especially for churches like mine. Now, it doesn't have the capabilities of some of those other devices that they have, but what this thing can do is quite amazing, especially for church production or production in general. Now, one thing it cannot do is record your stream to itself. It can record, however, and that's what I'm showing you today. And the one thing you're gonna need that's very important is a hard drive. You need an external hard drive. I'm using a four terabyte, just a regular old hard drive by Western Digital. It's the Western Digital MyBook, a four terabyte. You can use pretty much any hard drive you want to with the Ada Mini. Plug it into the USB-C port on the back. It actually, the Ada Mini Extreme actually has two USB-C ports. And yes, you can plug two hard drives into that. and. A switch between those. So let's get right into showing you how to record. On your computer, open up the Atom Mini software control or the Atom software control and then go to the right side. Now, if it's on the palettes, then you want to click on output and this is where your live stream setup is and then your record stream settings are right here. Uh, best thing to do is give the file name a title. This is very important. So let's give it a title. So my church is Legacy Church Global, so I'll do LCG Full Service. Because once everything is recorded, it will be a full service. And then you can take that over to YouTube and do whatever you want to with it. And then go to drive one and click on your desired hard drive or whatever hard drive you picked up and make sure that's already selected. It will give you the amount of minutes left on that drive right here to the right. So that way you can kind of decide right there. Or you can see it up on the, like if you have a multi-view set up, you can see that as well if you have your recording settings or recording information on the multi-view. If you have a second drive, you can select that drive there if it didn't do it automatically. And then, uh, yeah, I want to display my status at the bottom just so I can always see what's going on as far as my recording. And then if I had the capability, if I had the uh, Ada Mini Extreme ISO version, then I could record all cameras separately, which would be really cool, but I don't have that capability. And then once you're ready, you can press this record button or better yet, use the record button on the actual Ada Mini itself. That's the way we do it. We start and stop on that. And I'll show you that now. On the Ada Mini Extreme, you have this record start and, or what well, it just says record and then it says stop. So look for that. And you also wanna look for the green LED on disc. And what that means is that that disc doesn't have an issue and you are good to go as far as starting to record. So you can take your finger, just press record. In just a second, that will light up red or should light up red. There it goes. All right, now we're recording and we can see that on our multi-view as well. The number one is that first drive we just set up, and number two is the drive we don't have. We have 1,178 minutes left, uh, and it also gives me a terabyte reading, and we have 3.2 terabyte left on the hard drive. Once you are done with your service, everything's good to go. You do need to press stop recording, and there it goes, and because it will not stop. I mean, it will record until you turn the unit off or until your drive is out. Since you stopped recording, it's now time to get that footage over to a editing software and then get that onto YouTube so you can share that message with the world. And that leads me to today's verse of the day. And it's bless those who curse you and pray for those who hurt you. And that comes out of Luke uh, 6, 28. So the best way to get the footage from the hard drive is to actually pull it from the hard drive over a network rather than unplugging the hard drive and plugging it into your computer or wherever that may be. If you are on the same network, you'll be able to pull it from the hard drive. And I'll show you how to do that in this video right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember that great worship leaders are always learning. I'll see you in the next one.